Hello you beautiful people, it is Tooth here, Tooth Decay. Today we are doing a chip shop fake away. Mrs Tooth is having beer battered cod and I'm having battered sausages and I'm doing a battered mushy pea fritter. Because it's a lot of faff, we're just doing frozen chips to go with it. But nice ones, Tesco's finest don't you know. I've got some corkers frozen sausages which I'm going to rub and cook and then cool down before battering and frying them. Then we've got a black cod fillet that are salted and dried and because it had that natural break in it I cut it into two pieces before I battered it. I've seasoned the dredging flour with some paprika and turmeric while the beer batter is just 130 grams of self-raising flour and 130 grams of a nice cold beer. <laughs> Busted! Well, how can I tell you it's nice if I don't taste it first? Honestly, I'm taking one for the team here, folks. I'm taking one for the team. So let's get the chips into the oven, get some oil into the pot. I'm using crisp and dry. The oil needs to be around about 180 degrees, so that's 350F to 375F, somewhere around there. Mix your batter, don't overdo it. A few lumps are fine. Then dredge the fish in the seasoned flour and carefully coat it in the batter mix and then gently place it into the hot oil. You can see I'm using tongs, I don't want to get my hands too close to it. Then peek underneath and once it's golden brown, give it a flip. Now, I always pull my food a few degrees under the recommended temperature because I'm going to rest it for a little while and the carryover cooking will get it there. But caveat people, I'm a home chef, I'm not a pro chef, I'm not a food scientist, so I'll let you work out what you think is right. For me, I took the fish out at 60 degrees C, that's about 140 F and it came up to 63 degrees C, 145 F by the time it had rested on a paper towel as I cooked the rest of the dinner. Don't forget to turn your chips while all this is going on. Next, I got me mushy peas out of the fridge and did me best to dredge them in batter and make fritters. This was a bit sloppy, and if I do this again, I might even pop them into the freezer for a little bit to firm up even more. These kicked off big style when I put them in the oil, I guess because of the moisture in the peas. I do recommend doing them one at a time. Finally, I battered the sausage and dropped them in and then plated up. Right, let's see what this tastes like and get the all important verdict from Mrs. Tooth. Right, for those of you who watch Tooth Talk Travel, you will know that Mrs. Tooth never goes on camera. So, I'm going to drop a bit of my battered sausage and then I'm going to cut another piece off and try it. That's all right, you know, that's a lot better than I expected. What's your fish like? It's really lovely. The fat is really good. So the fish. Do you want me to cut into this beastie? Yeah, I'm scared to try mine. So this is the battered pea fritter. Mushy pea fritter. What do you think? Actually, it's really good. <laughs> is it? <laughs> These bloody northerners have been hiding it for us for years. Let me try it. I've got to be really fair, I'd say. The first bit over was really nice, the second bit was a little greasy. And I think that's where it didn't turn out like a complete fritter. It mashed in a bit, so I think the oil has got into it, into bits of it. But actually, as a. It's okay. I think the batter saves it. <laughs> the batter's better than the mushy peas. Yeah. I reckon I'll do that again, but I might do them as like little balls or something like that. Well, I prefer them flat. You don't like little balls? No. <laughs> no, consider I've never made batter before. No, that's better than the fish and chip shop. I do like that mushy pea fritter. I know it looks like a mess, but it tastes good. I think it is the crispy with the mushy pea. Yeah, it's a bit different, isn't it? Mm. And the chips, there's no point talking about because they're just bloody Tesco frozen chips, but... No, but it's a good fake away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as fake aways go, I've had a lot worse. Mm. And on that note, latest potatoes off your pop while I have a nosh. <laughs> 